Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lancer Battalion's annual award ceremony. We will be following the award sequence listed in your program. When your cadet's name is called, feel free to come forward to take pictures. Please be careful of the stairs. We will also post pictures to our Facebook and Instagram in the next few days. This year's award ceremony has been shortened due to the fact that we held a company award ceremony on Monday during class. Several awards with large numbers of awardees have already been presented. To all of our award presenters, please be prepared to present awards when your name is called. Thank you again, and we are honored that you're here this evening. Our first award presenter is Staff Sergeant Cole. Due to the fact that the National Soldier Association is no longer providing JRTC awards, we have replaced it with new JRTC awards from the United States Army Recruiting Command. The United States Army Recruiting Command JRTC Award is awarded to a cadet who has demonstrated dependability, good character, respect for the military discipline, and made meaningful contributions to East Union Army JRTC. This year's award recipient is Isabel Mendoza. The next Recruiting Command Award is the Scholar Athlete Award. This award recognizes a cadet who has demonstrated meaningful accomplishment in the classroom and in athletics. This year's award recipient is Mariah Donahue. Thank you, Staff Sergeant Coleman. The next award presenter is Colonel Hoffman. The next award is the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. The award recipient is Jordan Nash. This award is being given to a cadet who has demonstrated great Americanism by action and deeds while displaying outstanding leadership.
The next award is American Legion Post 249 Military Excellence Award. Award recipient is Tyler Foreman. This award is presented to a cadet who is in the top 10% of the program with exceptional leadership ability. The next award is American Legion Post 249 Scholastic Excellence Award to award recipient Simri Gill. This award is awarded to a cadet with superior academic achievement in the classroom. Thank you, Colonel Hall. The next two awards will be presented by Major General Retired Regular. The next award is from the Association of the U.S. Army, also known as AUSA. The award recipient is Jamison Mack. The next award is the American Veterans Award. Recipient of this award is Ian Collier. This award is being awarded for untiring dedication and support to the East Union Army JRTC. Thank you, General Rickman. The next award presenter is Reverend Elliot and Mr. Newcomb. The next award is the Sons of the American Revolution Award recipient is Fernando Osegueda. This award is awarded to a cadet who has shown a high degree of military bearing and excellent in JROTC studies.
Thank you, Reverend Elliot and Mr. Newcomb. The next award presenter is Sergeant Christie. The next award is the Order of Dandelions Award. Award recipients are Aaron Gill and Caleb Williams. This award is being awarded for patriotism, love of country, and service to East Union and to our community. The next award is the 101st Airborne Association Award. Award recipient is Gracie Flores. This award is presented to a cadet who is in the top 20% academically with top physical fitness and effective leadership. The next award is the Veterans of Foreign Wars Officer and Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year Awards. The Officer of the Year is Zachary Kitzberg. The Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year is Joseph Perez. Their leadership and contribution to the program have been superb and are well deserving of Officer and Non Commissioned Officer of the Year recognition. Both cadets' names are engraved on a plaque to be permanently displayed in the East Union Jared TC classroom. Thank you, Sergeant Christie. The next award presenter is Staff Sergeant Yu. The next two awards are the U.S. Army Warrant Officers Association Awards. The Gold Award recipient is Antonio Rocha. These awards are being presented to cadets with outstanding achievement in the classroom and in JROTC. The Silver Award recipient is Anne Story.
The next award is the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War of Louisville. There are several recipients of this award. Following cadets, Post, Anthony Zavala, Gael Camacho, Nihar Jane, Anthony Lopez, Oscar Moreno, Aiden Sinclair, Mason Leal, Caden Rushman, Hector Ledesma. This award is awarded to cadets who consistently display leadership by example and never shied away from challenging tasks. Next award is the Special Forces Association JROTC Award. There are several recipients of this award. Following cadets post Brandon Garibay, Jacob Benavides, Audrina Malayo, and Davis Duff. This award recognizes a cadet with outstanding physical fitness. Thank you, Staff Sergeant Yu. Next award presenter is Ms. Nancy Arribas. of the American Revolution Award. The award recipient is Christina Mariscal. This award is presented to a cadet who demonstrates selfless service with outstanding military merit and aptitude.
Thank you, Ms. Arribas. The next award presenter is our Vice Principal, Mr. Sibinary. chapter of the American Colonist Award. The award recipient is Bella Jimenez. <laughs> this award is awarded to a cadet to demonstrate proficiency in academic subjects, participate in JRTC activities, and demonstrate a good citizenship. This award is given to a cadet who consistently supports others and always completes assigned tasks with superior results. Cadet of the Year Award. Award recipient is Joseph Perez. <laughs> this award is given to a cadet who demonstrates a high degree of selfless service and possesses outstanding military merit and aptitude. Thank you, Mr. Sibley. Next award presenter is Ms. Clinton. Superior Leadership Award. This award is dedicated to the men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice to this nation. The award is presented in honor of Corporal Charles Palmer, the son of Mrs. Palmer. This year's award recipients are Nathan Beard, Cole Saunders, Saladonio Serna, Zachary Kitzberger, Moses Segura, Ruben Davila, Adam Tavares, William Story, Michael Castle, and Gabriel Fincher.
The next award is a military order of the World Wars Award. The award is awarded to a cadet who regularly supports JRTC activities and leads by example in everything he or she does. This year's award recipient is Alejandra Mogut. Officer Garcia. The next award is the United States Army Cadet Command Superior Cadet Award. This is one of the most prestigious awards in Army JRCC. The award is given to top cadets in each grade level based on their contribution to the JROTC program. Leadership, education, and training for Let One Awardees are Gabriel Venture and Bella Evans. Antonio Rocha and Ihar Jr.
<laughs> the next award is the Distinguished Cadet Award, N-1-1. This award is annually awarded to cadets who exhibit the highest degree of excellence in JRTC. Awardees are Jaden Patino, Alejandro Mendoza, Eric Gonzalez, Audrina Vallejo, Mariah Donahue, Camden Cohen, and Jacob Benavides. Thank you, Petty Officer Garcia. The next award presenter is Mr. Gonzalez. the Academic Excellence Award. Each award comes with a trophy and an N-1-2 ribbon. This award is awarded to the cadets with highest grade point averages in the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior classes. Cadets receiving this award are the freshman class with the highest GPA is Brandon Bertanisak with a 4.0 grade point average.
For the senior class, with the highest GPA of 3.9 is Zachary Kinsberg. Outstanding Company Level Staff Assistant Award. This award is awarded to cadets who show exemplary support as a company staff assisting their respective company. Cadets receiving this award are Andrew Perez, William Portillo, Sarah Eminence, Estrella Osuna, Anthony Alvarez, and Michaela Castle. This award is given to cadets who have achieved 90% or above in the semi-annual fitness testing. Cadets receiving this award are Jaden Pontiac, Davis Duff, David Tafoya, Anthony Zavala, Tyler Foreman, Jamison Mack, Leon Camacho, and William Storm. Next award presenter is General Raymond. <laughs> the next award is N-3-8, or commonly known as JLab for Junior Leadership and Academic Award. This year's award recipients are Brian Alumi, Alexander Hoffman, Nihar J. Simri Gil.
This year, East Canada's JLab academic team successfully passed two rounds of auction testing. Our scores were exceptionally high, and as a result, East Canada JRTC was one of the 37 teams selected out of 2007 Army JRTC programs in the country to compete in the 2024 All Service Academic Bowl Championships on June 22nd in Washington, D.C. This is an all expense paid trip by the Army. In 2022, our academic team also made it to D.C. and placed top eight nationally after two days of intense competition. We look forward to this year's team achieving great results as well. At this time, General Regla will present the JLab academic streamer to the team captain, Brian Alou. Thank you, General Rankin. The final three awards will be presented by Lieutenant Colonel Tao, Sergeant First Class Marine. <laughs> the next award is a Public Affairs Officer Award. This award is awarded to the Public Affairs Officer of the Year, Alize Alejo. Our Public Affairs Officer is responsible for managing our social media platforms, including Facebook and Instagram. Next award is the Fresno Raider Challenge Hall of Fame. Cadets who competed and won at least twice at the annual Fresno State University Raider Challenge are inducted to the Hall of Fame. This year, we have two inductees, Zachary Kitzberger and William Story. The final award this evening is the Senior Farewell Award, or the Lancer All-American Award. This is a special award given only to the graduating seniors who have been in the program for three plus years. In addition to receiving the Lancer Battalion coin, most cadets will also receive the JROTC sash. Okay. 
And special thanks to Leonard Photography for donating an individual portrait to every senior. Additionally, each senior will receive a congratulatory certificate from Congressman Josh Harvey. Few seniors will receive the competition trophy for being the team commander that trained his or her team to win multiple drill competitions while in JROTC. Will the following seniors post? Nathan Beer, Dylan Levitz Mother, Leon Kabachi, Michael Casson, Samadonio Cerner, Ian Collier, Ruben Dava, Nicholas Diaz, Gabriel Fincher, Angie Hernandez, Zachary Kitzberg, Mason Leo, Hector Ledesma, Anthony Lopez. Kevin Madrano, Isabel Mendoza, Oscar Moreno, Joseph Perez, Caden Rushman, Cole Saunders, Moses Sapiro, Aiden Sinclair, William Stork, Yvette Tafoy, and Adam Tavares.
activities or competitions. Sergeant Moreno and I thought, well, when it comes to 2024, we probably won't have any seniors left. Well, as they said, our time creates strong people. This group stuck together, and never wavered their determination and commitment to JROTC. Most of them had been in the program for four years. When I first introduced myself to them, I told them, I have an addiction. I'm addicted to winning. When it's true, it is that winning isn't everything. The winning makes one feel really good. It's very gratifying when you go to a JROTC competition and during the awards ceremony, the announcer says, the first place goes to East Union. That is the best feeling in the world. to that winning mindset. Their competitive spirit is second to none. Just to prove my point, in the past four years, they had gone to 19 Raider and Drill competitions, and they came home with 
62 12 beats. We're off then, our state champion at the high, in the highly challenging Fresno Baker competition. More than half of them have to be been to the National Fitness Championship two or three times. Several have gone to the Georgia and competed in 2023 U.S. Army Raider National Challenge Championship. As I emphasize frequently to these cadets, you are the only students on this campus that can claim the title of being a member of East Union National Team. This is a title no other school sports programs around our campus have the opportunity to qualify for. And that is what makes JROTC so special and unique. We offer leadership training opportunities that no other program has the resources or the ability to compete with. Class of 2024's hard work have also resulted in this program passing first ever Army accreditation inspection in March with a 95.4 rating. Sergeant Moreno and my impact on these young men and women. Half of this graduating class will continue to wear a military uniform to ROTC in college or enlisting in the military. Let's give it up to our seniors. Now, if you are the parents of one of these seniors, please stand up and be recognized. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for giving us the opportunity to be a big part of your sons and daughters' high school journey. Four years ago, I committed to you that we will do our best to transform them into a scholar, athlete, and leader. Today, I proudly say to you, mission accomplished. Class of 2024, you will be remembered as the most successful senior class East Union Army JROTC's 38 years history. Now, we have one more challenge to overcome. Tomorrow, six of you will be heading back with seven underclassmen to our summer vacation home in Daytona, Florida. I know you're ready to go against 74 top Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine JROTC program in this year's U.S. Army National Fitness Challenge Championship. Let's go, Lancers! <laughs> when I was stationed on Guam, they have an old saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Every JROTC program relies on parents, whom I consider are the backbone of every JROTC program. Parents play an important role in helping us shaping their teenagers into disciplined leaders and responsible citizens. So, if you are the parents of one of these cadets standing in formation today, please stand up and be recognized. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for raising these amazing cadets, giving Sergeant Moreno and me the opportunity to teach, mentor, and coach them. In closing, thank you all for being here this evening. We will conclude this ceremony by singing the Army song. Please rise. We invite you to join us in singing the Army song. The words can be found in your program. Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major Hoffman. Bring the battalion to attention.